Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Today, my topic is empowering cloud native networking with ARM ecosystem. And my partner, Han Yuding from China Mobile, would also give a talk in this session. Now, I will start this session. Thank you. Firstly, I would like to give out the agenda for the day. And the firstly, is the, the introduction, or well, a brief introduction for our today's topic. And the second one would be reference cloud native networking stack on ARM. The third one would be high performance container networking interfaces for cloud native networking on ARM. And the fourth one would be the multi interface requirement with ISRV support on ARM. The fifth one would be I, we would like to give out some performance test results for various container networking interfaces on ARM. And the, the sixth one would be, six item would be cloud native networking use cases and deployment on ARM. And our, the last one would be our future work. Firstly, I would like to talk about what is cloud native networking. Cloud native computing means to use containerized open source software stack where each part of the app is packaged into its own container, dynamically orchestrated so that each part is actively scheduled and managed to optimize resource utilization. Cloud native networking is an approach to provide the networking environment for building and running applications that exploit the advantages of the cloud computing delivery model. So high performance, flexible and function rich container networking technology is the key to the success of cloud native computing. For various CNIs uh, emerged today is to support the cloud native networking. CNI is a CN cloud native computing foundation project, consists of a specification libraries for writing plugins to configure network interfaces in Linux containers, along with a number, number of supported plugins. And the CNI follows the Kubernetes follows the Kubernetes networking model on native computing with ARM. ARM originally joined the Linux Foundation 10 years ago and joined the CNCF as a golden member in February 2019 and upgraded to a platinum member, platinum member on November 2019. And ARM is already a key player in telco centric organizations such as Telcom, Telecom Infra Project. DBDK, FIDO, and the Linux Foundation's Ocarina project. And the ARM provided the ARM Neowars, the foundation for the 5G cloud to edge infrastructure. And the uh, ARM is actively engaged with the cloud native software ecosystem to deliver optimized stacks. So DevOps teams can port and run codes and applications on ARM based solutions. ARM um, provides a Neoverse platform to support the cloud to edge, cloud to edge computing. For example, the ARM, um, the currently the ARM um, N1 platform provides a very high performance scale, high performance, high performance um, support for the cloud to edge computing. And the, for the next generation, and uh, provide an N1 platform provide 60% performance uplift from the original A72 uh, ARM cores. And there's, for the next generation, for 2021, 20, next generation N2 platform, we named it as Perseus, Perseus and the performance with the semiconductor technology from seven, seven nanometer to five nanometer. And therefore the ARM Neoverse N2 platform, we provide the cloud to edge efficiencies. For the cloud data centers, we provide 32 to 192 cores, which has a very high, rather high performance, but with very high, high core count, high power consumption for cloud CPUs. For the middle, middle core, for the middle core, for the edge use case and the 5G use cases, we provide the 
middle call count with 12 to 36 cars and with a median TDP, median power consumption, pounds consumption for the 5G and to edge and something like switches and smart mix CPUs. For the no end, no end edge devices for a 5G or other edge devices, we provide very low core count, low power get for the gateway and route CPUs. So it's a series platform scalability scale with the performance requirements for each use cases. And actually, cloud workloads deserve dedicated costs for the hyper-threading around the data center and the per-thread performance will win the cloud with more and more more and more high performance cross, high performance core, high performance threads. Now I'm um, had the enable I'm um, uh, enabling a frictionless cloud native developer experience from a various open source pro open source software projects, such as from the workloads such as the the now would like to give the third one third part is a reference cloud native networking stack on ARM. In this reference cloud native networking stack, we, I, we would give, I, we would use the uh, hardware acceleration from SmartNIC or integrated accelerators with SmartNIC. And from there, we will use the operating system network. We will provide a real-time Linux distribution, real-time Linux and the SRV and the DBTK support. From the orchestration layer, from the orchestration layer, we would provide the Kubernetes X orchestration for the containers and the containerized installers and the restocker and other things like that. For on the networking into software, we would provide VPP OVS and a Linux system networking with eBPF support. And for the container networking, the Fernando Catechal Cilium with eBPF and Contiv VPP with TBDK support and OVM Kubernetes with OVS support we would also be provided. And as a high level, we would provide a Kubernetes networking abstraction, which provide load balance, policy, high availability, DNS, lifecycle, external IPs, and securities. And for all the service provided, it would be like something like CNCF service mesh, package management, CICD, and others. We would like to support the 5G network functions, Mac, and other web-based microservices. So we would like to talk about the core of this cloud native networking stack is to the supporting network technologies. For layer two, we would use Linux Ethernet driver, bridge, TPTK, virtual switching, all things like that. And for layer three, there would be IP tables. And uh, for layer three, there will also be overlay tunnel for IPIP, VXLAN, and VHIE, and other IP tunnels, other ton IP based tunnels. For layer two and three, for the in layer two, three uh, technologies, the most important one is be the kernel JIT, which is eBPF, eBPF, Berkeley packet filter, enhanced which provide programs, maps, registers, help functions, all things like that to support the high performance or service oriented lower support in the kernel. And from the L7, we would apply the HTTP proxy for the Envoy based Envoy based HTTP proxy. And this is the reference cloud native networking stack provided, provided on ARM. Now we'd like to we would like to talk something about the high performance container networking interfaces for the container networking cloud native networking on ARM. Actually, the high performance container networking interfaces available for ARM is uh, there is a lot of a lot of support for the high performance container networking interfaces on ARM, and we would like to here we would like to. Um, give a brief introduction from the our IEC reference stack, IEC reference which is from Arduino IEC blueprint, which is provided and integrated into IEC repo. And I had to give out the links. You could, uh, if you are interested in this one, you could check out this 
CNIs. The first one would be Calico. Calico is a pure IP networking based and with high level policy network policy management by IP tables. It provides good scalability and support direct and overlay network collection and with easy, easy deployment. And the second one would be, would be Cilium, which is a very popular networking support, container networking support today, which uses Linux eBPF based network policy, load balance and security, which is believed to be with incredible performance and L3 networking between hosts with good scalability too. And the cloud Contiv VP, which uses FIDO VPP to provide a network collectivity between boards and uh, which uses native DBDK interface support for physical NIC. And uh, for OVN Kubernetes, it is OVS OVN controller based Kubernetes networking solution, rather good performance with OVS inherited and uses OVN logical switches and routers to collect ports for outside access. For the, for the SRV physical interface support, we provide Martas with SRV CNIs, which provide direct, direct physical interfaces for PFBFs support for ports, and which is high performance with direct, with direct Linux kernel Ethernet driver or DBDK PMD driver. And it usually co-work with other CNIs, such as Fernando Calico by Martas and other Glue CNIs. And uh, the last one would be the widely used for nano used, which is the easiest deployment uh, for simple Kubernetes networking, for which uses Linux nano bridge for port communication and overlay based communication for in-host access. So if you are interested in, in all these things, you could find them on ARM, um, you could find them in the IEC repo in Ocarino. Here, I would like to give a brief, uh, give a brief introduction about the status of CNIs on ARM platform and our contributions, which is only a small, very small part of it. Um, now, I would like to talk something about the multi-interface requirement with our V and Smartnik support on ARM. Here is a multiple interfaces support by SRV CNI. Usually, we provide a Legacy, a legacy Fernando and Calico plugin for the all the ports as a default CNI. And uh, optionally, the user want to use a high performance interface in their port. So we provide the SRV CNI as a plugin, CNI plugin to provide the second internet, to provide the second interfaces interface. And uh, the second interface would be the physical interface provided by the physical NIC, which is maybe a VF or VF, PF of a physical NIC. Here, we provide this SRV support, VF support to the port with a smart NIC, which is from the Broadcom, which is from Broadcom. Here is the right part provides some of the resource configuration for the resource configuration for the uh, physical uh, for the uh, VF NICs. For example, for the SRV interfaces from the uh, Broadcom, from this Broadcom Smart NIC, we provided the drivers, you know, B B N X T Ethernet driver, and we provided description about this driver and uh, about these things. So the system would discover all the remain all the related uh, virtual functions in the virtual function interfaces here. And if we want to provide the DBDK device drivers, we would like to use the DBDK drivers, which DBDK drivers, which we have our PCI here with a physical, with a physical NIC by Intel. Here is a network attachment, the definition for the resource SRV net, which would be used in a port description and provide the IPAM support. IPM so for the IP address allocation for the port. For example, if we want to provide SRV, SRV, SRV interface into your port, in a, besides original legacy, legacy Fernando or Calico interface, we provide to provide a description a notations here 
for the SRV Net1 and we provide the resource requests here for ARM.com PS22, here's 2225 SRV Net device one, which one and the one resource. So it will provide the one SRV interface into the pod with this, with this, with this pod. Here is the networking model for containers in a single host by SRV CNI. And we provide the SRV CNI by Smartic PS225 with a single PF, but with two different VFs. And it is collected by um, different VFs, but in a, in a single host. For the inter-host communication with other hosts, we also could use the SRV CNI plugin, which provide a VF support, um, VF support to the outside world with the SRV interface. For the second host, you here you can see this part can communicate with another host with the SRV interface with the EMP9S0 to the Smartnik, to the Smartnik VF0 and to the outside world, to the outside host. So we had we had done some performance tests for the various container network interfaces on ARM platform. And the first one would be here we provide the uh, performance test for different CNIs with different back end back end support. For example, we had tested the Calico with IP IP tunnel and the Calico with the direct routing and the Fnano is IP IP tunnel, Fnano with VXLAN tunnel. VXLAN tunnel and the Cilium with VXLAN tunnel. For example, we get the we get the results as follows. Uh, the initial observation for the TCP performance over different thing eyes, uh, we got is, um, for example, we get to know the performance gap between thing eyes are not so explicit when overlay tunnel is used. And the Calico and the Fernando show a little bit bad performance than Cilium for most MTUs here. And with IPIP, IP, the VXLAN overnight tunnel import enabled the large MTU size, the throughput performance is better. And when you use direct routing, the throughput performance is not significantly affected by MTU size. Here, as the time is limited, we, I would not I would not talk too much about the results. You could check the date, check it, check then detailed, check the details by yourself in the late in this slide lately. And a very interesting result here is that we had done some HTTP performance benchmarking for CNIs with various back ends. Here is the HTTP to host to service HTTP performance, which is provided by Kubernetes for Kubernetes for different from different CNIs. 10 gigabit collection, but with a line gigabit performance result with the increase of the threads we used in the approved test. Here, I would like to say something about the service mesh on ARM. Service mesh, service mesh is the communication layer in a microservice setup. setup. All requests to and from each other services go through the mesh. Also known as infrastructure layer in a microservice setup. The service mesh makes communication between services reliable and secure. For the control plane, we use the Istio, and uh, which is composed of the mixer, which is for policy enforcement and telemetry checks, pilot for service communication policies, configuration gallery, control plane conf configuration, and citadel, citadel, security and credential management. And from the data plane, we use Envoy, which is the HTTP proxy for the high performance proxy developed in C++. And uh, Envoy, Envoy provides a lot of services such as service discovery, such as rate limit, such as rate limit. And uh, for the L7 field, L7 field and the advanced load balancing and all things like that. And uh, we provided a STO uh, use cases for the STL booking, for example, on ARM, we, we had deployed this 
HTO example, an uh, example on ARM with ARM platform with the product page, red page reviews on the ports. And on why it work, here works as a sidecar to each port, which supports the microservice architecture for the access data flow for the different accesses. Now, Han Yuding from China Mobile would talk something about would talk something about the use case which uh, in China Mobile uh, provided for the ARM platform. As we all know, the cloud native technical will promote 5G services in China Mobile to be more flexible and convenient. The virtual machine based orchestration is trans <coughs> transformed into container and component based orchestration. The gradual, the gradual uh, precipitation of operator capabilities will will further enhance business creativity and uh, flexible ability. In recent years, China Mobile has actively invested in the uh, open source field of edge computing. And China Mobile has been elected to the uh, Acrano Community Technical Committee and has and have actively led many um, edge cloud uh, blueprint projects in Acrano. Um, so uh, I will uh, introduce the, some use case in China Mobile. Uh, China Mobile and its partners jointly initialed and to, to be the uh, PTL as the two Arduino uh, projects, uh, which has which have successfully released the R3 version of the community. Um, the first is uh, about the cloud Android cloud native applications on ARM server in H. Um, this project mainly uh, provides the end-to-end -end Android application solutions uh, around the uh, Android cloud uh, gaming scenarios. The cloud gaming is one of the um, um, key vertical industrial applications of 5G edge computing in China Mobile. It mainly um, deploys um, cloud game rendering um, and uh, editing in at uh, at node uh, and some uh, decoding storage, uh, some other uh, functions. The project um, um, will provide the Android cloud native running environment under the ARM architecture uh, for mobile terminal applications at the edge, and uh, it also will uh, reduce the difficulty of deployment and the development of applications on the edge cloud, and reduce the deployment cost of Android uh, edge cloud. Uh, next, the second project is about uh, the smart NIC. Uh, the, R4, the R3 version of the uh, integrated Edge Cloud Type 5 Blueprint released for the first time the OAS offload reference implementation of the Bluefield network and card based on the SOC architecture. And it also merged uh, into the Arduino community R3 uh, version. And the first release of the um, this project is based on the ARM SOC architecture and OVS DBDK is uh, unloaded to the smart network card, which can enhance the throughput performance of edge network VPC, reduce the patched loss rate, and enhance the management of network card resources to save more computing resources. In the future, uh, the performance of 5G UPF network elements deployed in the Edge Cloud data center uh, in China Mobile can also be enhanced by realizing the uh, uninstallation function of a network card. So 
China Mobile is willing to uh, further promote the maturity, business innovation of the cloud native computing through mm -hmm. uh, the active uh, exploration and practice in the field of uh, cloud native and edge computing open source. And we are uh, willing to create a win win cloud native computing intro system. Thank you. Okay. And I support the enhancement on ARM platform. And uh, for example, for CI CD performs the feature comparisons. And if you'd like to give some performance optimization of overlay tunnel communication on ARM platform and the further use cases and deployments about the cloud native networking on ARM platform. For example, AR, VR, 5G, Mac. And the service mesh integration with high performance CNI, such as CDM proxy and further DPDK incorporated. Container networking usage model and performance evaluation and further CI for high performance container networking solutions on ARM with up to date processes. Uh, here is some references used in today's topic. Uses in today's topic. And thank you all for today for attending this meeting. Bye bye.